Hey guys, it's Keon, and today I'm going to be talking about Darren Till because it was announced that he has been released from the UFC roster, and this was quite big news for a lot of people. I think a lot of people didn't expect this to happen because even though Darren is on a three fight losing streak, I think he's like one and five in his last six, something like that, just hasn't been winning in a while, even though that's been the case he is still a fan favorite uh personality that a lot of people like so a lot of people thought the ufc was going to give him another chance and let him stay and not release him he just had that star power in order to stay with the promotion despite losing as much as he's been losing but it looks like he's gone it looks like he's not there anymore but he did confirm in a tweet that it was a decision that was mutual. Both parties, the UFC and Darren, agreed that Darren is going to leave. He doesn't want to be with the UFC anymore and it's because he wants to deal with some things outside of the sport, outside of the promotion and a lot of people have been speculating is it because he wants to get some stem cells, some a uh, type of uh, juice in order to recover his uh, knee, his uh, injuries that have been bothering him over these years. And it looks like that's going to be the case because he recently announced that he wants to get some stem cell surgery or something like that, something along those lines. Look at me. I'm trying to report MMA news right here. I don't even have all the, all the information, but I saw a IG story from him or he he did an interview recently just talking about wanting to recover and recuperate as a fighter as a person by having something dealt with his knees stem cells that they're saying but he could only do this if he's not in USADA anymore so that's why he decided to leave and he said in two or three years he wants to come back and fight again for the UFC and it's just I don't know what to think of this you know um it just seems like a mess I think that's the biggest thing I do hope Darren gets better in regards to his health but people have been complaining about this before specifically with Conor McGregor that he left the USADA testing pool got massive and then comes back into the USADA testing pool and people were thinking oh it's because he was doing some things that were banned by USADA and because he had the privilege to leave the sport, leave USADA, do what he wanted to do, film his movie, do the drugs that he wanted to do, do the illegal medications that are banned by USADA and then be able to come back, re-enter the pool and be clean. I understand why people were unhappy about that specifically. Anthony Smith, he was complaining how, why is it not okay that a fighter like myself cannot leave the sport to recover my body, do things that aren't USADA approved, and then come back? He doesn't have the privilege to do that. And when I say privilege, I'm talking about like financial privilege more so, um, star power privilege, which is what Connor has for sure. He's he has the ability to leave whenever he wants. He can make money outside of the sport, take care of his body, come back, and USADA is not going to bat an eye because technically he didn't break any rules, but it's kind of like a loophole. And it seems like Darren is taking this loophole right now a little bit more different because he's not going to be staying with the UFC. He's going to be gone fully, but he's saying he wants to come back to the UFC in a couple of years. So it's kind of similar to what conor mcgregor has done and what do i think about this i don't really care <laughs> i don't i don't really care about it to be honest because more specifically with darren i don't care because i don't think it's going to make a difference sure he can recover re recuperate his body be healthy again but by this point when he comes back to the ufc and if he's estimating two to three years he's going to be 32 33 by this point and I just don't think it's going to be good for him to come back at that age, first of all. And secondly, just not an improved fighter. I think that's the biggest thing we need to see from Darren if he's going to come back. Because if he doesn't improve on his actual skills, I don't see any difference 
in his second run compared to his first because obviously his biggest issue is his wrestling he's been out wrestled for most of his defeats and it's just like is that going to be fixed is the wrestling issue still going to be an issue when he comes back and if it is i just don't see darren finding any success in his second run with the ufc so i think darren till's done in mma at least i think he had his moment there was a lot of hype behind him at one point sadly he didn't live up to it and now he's just hoping that oh it's an injury thing i'm gonna fix my injuries come back and be a better fighter but it's more than that it's about the skills of the other fighters how good the other fighters are the truth is darren till is just not as good as them that's what it is and with the star power and name that he has he's going to be fighting these big names either at 170 or 185 that's just where he's gonna be he's not gonna just be fighting mid tier fighters and that's just the thing i don't think he can compete with these guys and if he's gonna be taking away two to three years away from mma and come back he's gonna be older there's gonna be younger guys around and it's just not gonna be an easy situation for him I feel like he thinks, come back and we're going to reclaim that hype that I once had initially, but I don't think that's going to be the case. He'll still be a big name. He'll still be very popular, but in regards to actually doing well as a fighter, especially in the UFC, I don't think what he's doing right now is going to make it any difference, which is why I think he should just step away from MMA entirely. He's a great striker. I know a lot of people complain, oh, he does the same one-two punch all the time, but it works for him, and he does more than that as well. And obviously, he can compete with the best when the fight is on the feet. He showed that against Robert Whitaker. He gave Robert one of his most difficult fights, and that says a lot. We have to consider that. But the moment he gets taken down and gets out wrestled it's just not a good night for him and that's the problem this is mma he has to be ready for that and i feel like he thinks if i get this injury over if i recover from this injury i'm going to be able to stuff the takedowns or do better on the ground but i don't think that's going to be the case i just think he needs to improve on his wrestling that's the biggest thing and i don't think he'll be able to do that in order to find success in his second run with the ufc which sucks to say because look i'm not even the biggest darren till fan i never really bought into the hype initially when he was coming up i thought he was very good and he would be able to fight for the title and honestly i kind of thought maybe he'd be tyron woodley's toughest test at the time when darren fought tyron for the welterweight championship but after that defeat it just went downhill he lost to jorge masvidal by that brutal knockout a knockout which i think changed the entire trajectory of his career changed darren as a fighter he decides to leave walter wade because that weight cut was getting too difficult goes back doesn't go back up does he go back up to middleweight was he in middleweight initially i think so i don't know but goes to 185 gets that split decision win over kelvin gastelum not the most exciting fight but hey a win is a win it's against Kelvin Gastelum, who, I'm not going to lie, isn't the greatest fighter at this point. This was Kelvin Gastelum post-Israel Adesanya fight, and we all know Kelvin Gastelum was no longer the same fighter that he once was after that war with Israel Adesanya. So it was right after that Israel fight, he fought Darren, and Darren won, and that really propelled Darren. It was a good start for Darren, then fights Robert Whitaker loses that fight but even in defeat it was a very impressive defeat but after that robert whitaker defeat losses to derek bronson um Drickus duplessis and it's just like i think those two defeats over there is what really hurt darren's career and it's just really hard for him to recover from that i wish he could be able to cut down to 170 because that size advantage that he had down at Walter Weight was huge for him, especially when it came to fighting on the feet and even denying takedowns. It was an advantage for him. But at 185, I just don't think 
it's good for him. He's fighting guys similar to his sizes at that point, and that's when he's having troubles. Look, even at 185, the best, the most success he had was when he was fighting welterweights that moved up to 185. He beats Kelvin Gastelum. He has a very competitive fight against Robert Whitaker. So size-wise, he has the advantage when he has that size advantage, if that makes sense. I don't even know. But um, when he doesn't have that size advantage, when he's fighting someone like a Drikus Duplessy, a Derek Brunson, especially guys who can bring the fight down and do damage there, that's when he's having troubles. And I just don't think it's going to be a different story if he comes back, especially if he comes back at 185. If he comes back, not only does he have to be fully recovered from his knee injury but he also or his other injuries but he also has to move down to 170 if that's possible it's going to be harder at this point because he's older and then he definitely has to improve on his wrestling that's like the biggest thing for him if he doesn't improve on that i just see it going the same way as it has been going as a reason for darren so with all that being said it's quite a difficult task for him to do all of that and find success in the UFC if he comes back, which is why I say he doesn't come back. He just leaves the UFC entirely and maybe MMA entirely because people were also saying, what if he went to Bellator? What if he went to PFL? If he went to Bellator, man, there's some really good middleweights at Bellator. Gegard Mousasi, um, who's the champion's name? I can't believe I'm forgetting the champion's name. The champion is good too, especially in wrestling. Um, Eben? even <laughs> i don't know man i don't know but if he goes up to these if he goes to bellator middleweight he's gonna have troubles and even pfl pfl middleweight i think he'll have troubles as well because the moment he gets taken down he's just not doing well that's just what it is so i say he steps away from mma entirely to avoid the ground game because clearly that's not his strong suit and once he gets taken down he loses the fight so i think he'll find a lot of success as a kickboxer let's make that happen i would love to see it but even if it's not kickboxing why not boxing darren till has also been teasing about boxing pursuing money fights in boxing he had a tweet recently where he had like a bunch of uh boxing fist emojis and um also what else did he have and money bags so that, that's pretty good. Honestly, if he goes that route and takes money fights in boxing, I think it would be great, especially with his personality. So I say he rides the rest of his combat sports career by doing that, by being a name in celebrity boxing. It's not celebrity boxing, but money fight boxing, if that makes more sense. Because look how well that's been working for Mike Perry. That's a matchup right there that could happen. Mike Perry versus... Darren Till if they went into boxing or even BKFC. I don't really like when MMA fighters go to BKFC. I think it's too brutal, but I think uh, boxing would be pretty good. That's a good route for him. I could see him even fighting someone like Jake Paul. I think it would sell quite a bit if those two were to go against each other simply because of the promotion. That's what Darren has for him. He has, he knows how to sell himself. He has a following, people like him. Go into the boxing. You don't have to deal with wrestling. I think this is the way for him to go. But yeah, in general, he wasn't the biggest fan of Darren Till. Regardless, it sucks to see him in this position where he's been losing. He was a guy that had a lot of hype behind him at one point, And now he's just at a point where people don't really care about his MMA career anymore. They're not really excited about him as an MMA fighter like they were initially. And it sucks to see that. I hate seeing that with Darren Till. I hate seeing that with someone like Cody Garbrandt. They are examples of fighters who fight in a sport that is very unforgiving. And for them, they were on the bad end of that. So it just sucks to see. But I wish Darren Till all the best. And I think the best for him is in boxing. But what do you think? What should Darren Till do next? Should he come back to MMA or should he go into something else like boxing, BKFC, kickboxing. But that's all I'll offer now, so I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.